Okay, so question number two from practice paper B, Pure Maths 2. And this question is actually also taken from... This question is also from C2. It's basically taken from the um, C2 paper of June 2018. The GCE C2, June 2018. GCE paper this is question two. I've taken out the things that are relevant to P2 from some papers to make this paper. Okay, and I added a few bits and bats here and there. So this paper, this question is purely taken from um, the June 2018. So part A says, find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 plus k x to the power of 7, where k is a non-zero constant. Give each term in its simplest form. Okay, so of course our answer is going to be in terms of k. So for part a, we got to expand 2 plus k x to the power of 7. Now, as I mentioned before, there's different ways of doing this. I prefer to use this particular formula, which is 1 plus x to the power of n is equal to 1 plus n times x, that times that, plus the power times 1 less than the power over 2 factorial times whatever's there squared and then following on that same pattern n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed but it has to have a 1 here okay it can't have a 2 here like this does so with the method that I use I have to change this into a 1 okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say okay this is the same as I'll put make a square bracket I'll say I'll take 2 out of this Okay, of this bracket, so I have 2, and there's going to be a 1 now in here, because 2 times 1 is 2. Now, 2 times something has to be giving me kx, and that's going to be 2 times kx over 2. If I multiply this by that, I'm going to get kx. And all of this is to the power of 7. So I end up with 2 to the power of 7 times 1 plus kx over 2 to the power of 7. Okay, and then I can proceed to expand using this. So I'm going to have 2 to the power of 7 and it says the first four terms um, times 1 plus k x over 2 to the power of 7 equals. So I'm going to have 2 to the power of 7 times, then I can do my expansion, 1, that's the first term, plus n x. So 7 times this term here. So you're going to have 7 times k x over 2 okay 7 times kx over 2 plus and then you're going to, that's the second term then you're going to have 7 times 6 over 2 factorial which is 2 times 1 times kx over 2 squared so you go to times that that bracket that that term squared um, that's the third term so we've got one more to go it's 1 2 3 fourth term is going to be 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 factorial. 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1. And you're going to have kx over 2. This time it's going to be cubed. And then don't forget to close that bracket. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 7, which is 2 to the power of 6 is 64. So it's going to be 128. Let me just confirm that. 2 to the power of 7. Yep, OK. And then you're going to have here 1 plus 7kx over 2 plus, that's a k here, plus, now that 2 cancel with that 6 giving me 3, so I'll have 21 times, I'll have k squared x squared over 4, because that's going to be k squared x, all of that has to be squared, plus, and then you're going to have the 6 and the 3 times 2 cancelling out, so you'll have 35 and you're going to have k cubed, um, x cubed, over 2 cubed, which is 8. Okay, and all of that, every term here has to be multiplied by 128. So you're going to have 128 plus 7k, uh, 2, uh, you're going to have um, 64 times 7. So you're going to have 128, let's just do this, 128 times, you're going to have 7 over 2. That gives you 448, which you have 448 four, 
8 x plus and then you have um, 21 over 4 times 128 which gives you 672 so you have 600 six, okay I forgot something here be very careful there's a k here as well isn't there there's a kx don't forget the k okay plus and what did we get here we got uh, 672 that's gonna be k squared x squared k squared x squared and then finally you're gonna have 128 times 35 over 8 okay so you're gonna have here an 8 and on top you're going to have a 35 and that gives you 560 k cubed x cubed 560 k cubed oops didn't work out very well did it k cubed and x cubed all right now the next part of the question it says given that the coefficient of x cubed in this expansion is 1890 find the value of k so basically we know that this part is 1890 that's basically what we know so we know that 50, 560 k cubed is equal to 1890 so k cubed is going to be 1890 divided by 560 so it's 189 over 56 Okay, so it's going to be the cube root of, so you're going to have the cube root of uh, 189, 189 over 56. And that gives you 3 over 2. So that means k is equal to 3 over 2. So k is equal to 3 over 2 because we did k equals the cube root of 189 over 56. So there's the answer to this question. We've got the answer for part A there and the answer for part B there. And we're done with this question, which is part question two from um, practice paper B of P2 or question two of C2 June 2018 GCE paper.